congratulations for watching this video. It is the most important video you are going to watch in the whole of the second year A level. Basically, integration, very, very hard topic, but actually not very hard topic. There are only 10 things we integrate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Literally nothing else. All integration comes back to these 10. So all other integration techniques are about getting you to the point where you can guess what's been differentiated basically. So don't think of it as integration. Think about what has been differentiated. And there are only 10 things that we differentiate. So let's put our guesses on here. The idea is that we're going to guess what got differentiated and then fiddle with it if we need to. So what got differentiated here must have been sine, sine of whatever it is. What got differentiated here it must have been cos because cos differentiates to sine. What differentiates to sec squared? Tan. What differentiates to sec tan? Sec. I realise there's some minus sign fiddling needs to go on. It doesn't matter. This is just like a like a fundamental starting point guess. What differentiates to cosec? Cot. Cosec. Derivative of cot is cosec squared. Well, minus whatever. The derivative of e to the power of something is e to the power of something. Derivative of a to the power of something is a to the power of something. Yeah, yeah, we can fiddle the rest of it later. We can sort that out. This is just the big fundamental thing. What's the guess? This, what got differentiated, must have been that with one higher power, because when you differentiate, the power goes down by one. And this must have come from ln. So what we do first is we guess. We make a big guess about what it was that was differentiated. And then we differentiate and see whether or not we were right, basically. And if not, we do a little adjustment. Let's have a look at this first one. Let's guess. Well, what are we looking at here? Um, this one with the power, the six up here. That's what we're looking at there. Something to the power of six. The something cannot have anything complicated in it. It just has to be x times add, that is it. No squares in there, no roots, nothing like that. Literally just the variable times the number, times by a number, add a number and that's it. So that's what we've got here, that exact thing. To x times a number with a number, there, same, two x, that's just an x, so that's fine. And we've got to a power, so the guess is gonna be that same thing, but to a higher power. Now there's a three at front here, so obviously that didn't spring out of thin air. I'll put that as part of my guess as well. Right, now I differentiate. How do I differentiate? I'm going to use the chain rule. The seven will come down and we pretend that isn't a problem and change this to a six and then chain rule multiply by the derivative of this thing here, which is four. Okay, is that what we wanted? Let's have a look. No, I do not want that seven that came down that three times seven there. The three is fine, but not the seven. So we don't want seven and we do not want four. Otherwise it's gonna work. Okay, so let's make an adjustment to our original guess. Let's take our original guess and divide it by 28. Okay, now let's think about it. What would happen now when we differentiate? Seven would come down cancel with part of this 28, change to a six, then we times by four, but that would change, that would uh, cancel with the four in here because the seven and the seven that comes down and the four that pops out because of the chain rule make 28, which are canceling with that 28, which is why I put it there. So that's the adjustment that I needed. So that is now working and I've solved the integral. And what are we going to not forget? Exactly. I'm sure you did say that to the computer. Right, let's try this next one. What's our guess going to be? Well, what did I differentiate to get 1? It must have been x. x differentiates to make 1. Then I'm going to put a minus. I'm just going to copy it for now or change it later if I, if I need to. Sec squared. Okay, it was tan that got differentiated. Tan differentiates to sec squared. So I'm going to guess tan... 2x. There's my guess. Okay, differentiate. x differentiates to 1 and then a minus and then tan differentiates to sec squared. Chain rule says I then have to multiply by 2. That I don't want. Everything else is good but I don't want that 2. 
So let's go back and make an adjustment to the original guess. See how it turns out. This bit was fine. I'm going to leave that as it was. That was good. That worked. The minus was not a problem, but I ended up with this two here and I don't want it. So if I stick a half in there, that should now work. So this differentiates to one, correct? This differentiates to sex squared. 2x, but then I'd have to multiply by 2, but that multiple of 2 cancels with this half, which is why I put the half there. So it now works. That's all good. So the integral of 1 minus sex squared 2x is x minus a half tan 2x plus c. Okay, and the last one. Now this looks really confusing. It's not cos, it's not, it's nothing, nothing differentiates to make tan. When you differentiate, you don't, these 10 things, none of them make a tan. So either I lied and all integration comes back to this method or there's a little trick here. Now, yes, there's just, it's not a trick, but just think. Sometimes if you do a little bit of rearranging, then you see one of these things popping out. So for example, tan x. Tan x is sin x over cos x. Okay. I think I'm being really clever here, but look, none of these say sine x over cos x either. So I need to tell you about this method. The little box here, that has to be just ax plus b. It can't be more complicated. So here, one over something, we can't have one over cos x. It hasn't come from Lun. But if the little box is something else, something like a function, like here it's cos x, and you have a look and you see the derivative then it's okay, you can still make the guess. It's just, the derivative is just there because the chain rule's been used. Let's have a look at these examples. e to the complicated thing, that's no good. But e to the complicated thing with the derivative of the complicated thing sitting here, that's going to be fine. That's going to come from e to the f of x. That will be our guess. So let's think about it. What happens if you differentiate e? You get e. But then the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of f. So that would be there. So if we're integrating this with the derivative in front, then this guess will work. What about if we're integrating 1 over something complicated, but we see the derivative of the complicated thing on the top of the fraction? Okay, then we can guess ln. Ln of the bottom. Why? Because what happens when we differentiate ln? We get 1 over, so we'd get 1 over f of x, we'd get this thing here, but chain rule says we then have to multiply by the derivative of the f, but it's okay, it's sitting there, that's why it's there. So yeah, this guess will work. Finally, what about this one? We've got complicated thing to the power of n, like what about cos cubed x, something like that, or like tan to the 7x. Well, that looks really complicated, it doesn't look like any of these things, but what about if you see the derivative sitting at the front? So what about if you do see tan to the power of 7x, tan to the 7x, sex squared x? Well, then it's okay. That is there telling you that the chain rule has been used and that actually this was something nice and simple. And we can make the guess of simply f of x to the power of 1 higher. Let's think about it, what would happen? That would come down the front. We can adjust that later. You know, like we did with this, we'd stick a quarter on or stick a half on, we can deal with that. And then the chain rule says, having that come down and then take one off, you then have to multiply by the derivative of the f, which is why you can see it there. So this guess will work. Now, this is the situation we're facing here. We've got the integral of a fraction, sine x over cos x, it looks complicated, it looks like we need some special technique, it looks like it isn't any of this, it's a bit like that one, but it's not because the bottom's too complicated. But look, the derivative of the bottom is on the top. If the derivative of the bottom is on the top, then this guess is gonna work. Guess ln, ln of the bottom. Watch, differentiate. What happens when we differentiate ln? We get one over. Then we have to use the chain rule. We have to multiply by the derivative of cos, which is minus sine, giving us minus sine x over cos x, which is almost what I wanted. It's only thing that's wrong here is that minus. 
So this is gonna be the tiniest little adjustment. So my adjustment, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a minus on the beginning of my guess. So I'm gonna guess minus len cos x. Now what happens if I differentiate this? Derivative of ln is one over, then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is minus sine x, but that minus will cancel with the minus that I put on, which is why I put it there. And now it's gonna work. So the integral of tan x is ln cos x. But there's another way you'll see this written and it's nicer. You know, with logs, you can move numbers up to become powers. So instead of having that minus at the front, I'm going to make it a power. I'm going to have cos x to the power of minus one. What does that mean, to the power of minus one? It means write it as one over, doesn't it? That's what it means. So instead of having minus ln cos x, I can have ln one over cos x, but we've got a word for one over cos x. What's the word for one over cos x? Sec x. So you will see this written as ln sec x. But if you've written minus ln cos x, you're still correct. Now, all integration comes back to this method. If you have an integral, which is not one of these, and you're sure it's not one of these, you can do a little fiddle to make it into one of these, then think about whether or not the box is a function and you can see its derivative. And then there's only a few more techniques that you're gonna need, and what those techniques will do is bring it back to this situation, so we can do the guess differentiate adjust method, and that is how you approach integration.